Her body's gold like September She burns through the night like an ember And all those things we try to get in our remember What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create a logo design, mainly using Photoshop. You can go ahead and use Adobe Illustrator if you wish, but I am showing you how to create this using just Photoshop, but you will obviously at the start need to use a pencil and a paper, and this will just be to create the first logo design process. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to my camera where I will be showing you how to actually create the logo design on paper first. All right, so so the first thing I will do is just grab my normal pencil and uh, actually write down the letter I am working with. So I'm going to be doing the letter, uh, let's do the letter N in this example. So we're going to do the letter N, we're just going to write N as you can see here, quite small, but we're just going to write N so we know what letter we are working with. Once I have actually wrote the letter, I will then draw some different versions of this letter. So maybe draw a uh, non-capitalized N, so just a lowercase N. And as you can see, we have a big uh, uppercase N as well next to it. So we can see the difference and I can either work with a lowercase N or a capital N. So I'm going to work with the capital N and I'm just going to go ahead and add some extra lines onto it. So I'm going to draw uh, a bigger N and then I'm just going to add sort of some extra lines onto it. Maybe this line and this line, then the most obvious that we can add to the design. Once I've done this, I will maybe add a little bit more to the design. You can uh, maybe, like my logo for example, I have extra lines added. So we can go ahead, maybe draw a line here, uh, and then draw one up again here like this. Uh, so we have two lines going through the logo design, and there may be an extra one up at the top that comes through like that. It's completely up to you. I think this looks quite cool at the moment. So we may be working with this one yet. I don't really know. All right, so uh, we're going to draw actually a bigger version of this just to maybe mix it up a little bit. So we're going to draw a big N to start with, like I did before. And then we're going to try and add to this one as well. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here right now is just add some little bits onto this N right here. Gonna add a bit there, it just comes down like this, and we're gonna add a little bit here as well. I think that looks quite cool. This will obviously have to be symmetrical right there. And obviously, you have different combinations you can do with the actual letter itself. You can have uh, sort of rounded edges, you can have edges rounded like this, as you can see, or you can have just a straight edge that goes like that. It's completely up to you. Sometimes straight edges work better, and sometimes the rounded ed edges work better. So You'll have to see which works best with the design, but I think this looks quite good so far. Maybe we can add some extra details onto it when we actually put it into Photoshop. But I'm going to try and do some other designs as well, see if we can get uh, come up with something maybe a little bit better. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, guys, is go ahead and put one of these into Photoshop. I'm going to either use this one, this one, or this one. I think I'm going to probably use this one, but at least have three different designs that you can work with, because one of them's going to look good. The other two are mainly going to look rubbish, so make sure you have at least three designs to work with like I have here. And um, I have only done this really quickly just to show you how I actually sketch my logos, but now we're going to go ahead and go into Photoshop and uh, mess around with these logos. Okay, so now we're in Photoshop, what we're going to do is actually create the design. So uh, I think I'm actually going to use this middle design, and if you uh, didn't know how I actually got the picture into my computer and onto Photoshop, all I did was take a picture of it with my camera and then uh, scan the image into my computer and then just uh, put the picture into Photoshop and also one thing I did was add a brightness and contrast and also made sure this was in black and white. I added a uh, brightness and contrast with a brightness of 150 and a contrast of minus 50. So that's what I did and uh, now we have this and I also have some rulers on the designs themselves. So. I think I'm going to try the middle logo and the uh, last logo as well just to see which one works the best. So the first logo here I'm going to try and work with uh, is obviously sort of rectangular shape. So we're going to go ahead and get the rectangular mar marquee tool on the left hand side and just create a sort of rectangle shape the same size as this. And uh, we're just going to make sure you have a new layer as well, I just forgot that. Make sure you have a new layer above the brightness and contrast. Right click, go to fill, and then just uh, you can change the colour to black because it will stand out a little bit more. 
Uh, once you've done that, you can then press Control J to duplicate this layer, and then uh, Control T obviously gets up the size in. And we're going to duplicate this over here as well. And uh, all I'm going to do now is hide this layer and just sort of uh, crop it so we can uh, create this sort of design technique that I'm trying to obviously create here. Uh, so we just crop this one. Uh, right click after the pen tool make selection hit enter and then just press delete and as you can see that has deleted that part of the shape so the next one here this part all we're going to do is do the same exact thing we're going to go up here we're going to delete this as well so we're going to try and find the right thing Control z uh, gets rid of your last move that you did on photoshop if you didn't know that already so make selection, enter, and then press delete once again. So we have this sort of shape right now. If you hide this, you can see what it will look like. Uh, maybe I can make a new background layer to show you guys. Uh, let me just click fill. And this is what it will look like on a normal like white canvas at the moment, as you can see, without the sketch paper behind it. So uh, the next thing we need to do is add that line in the middle. Uh, there's many ways you can create the line. There is, I believe, a line tool, as you can see here. Uh, I've never actually used this before, but we can give it a go. Maybe this will work okay. I don't really know. Um, Alright, so that is the line tool. <laughs> Way too small for our likings. That's what she said! <laughs> Michael. Michael. What we're going to do is um, just create a, a little bit of a bigger line. And um, I'm going to do this, going to enter, make sure the colour is on black once again. This will differ from the actual design you have created, but I'm just showing you that you can create stuff in Photoshop, like logo designs in Photoshop, and it doesn't ha actually generally need to be made in Adobe Illustrator. So this is almost done right here, as you can see. Uh, so I think that's lined up perfectly, so all we're going to do now is just crop off the edges. So we're going to crop that off, uh, oh, control Z, make selection, enter and delete. I'm sorry if you can hear my keyboard as well because it's mechanical, it's quite loud. And this is sort of what it's looking like. As you can see, it doesn't look that good, so you may need to add stuff to it or remove stuff. Um, maybe we can get rid of, I know he was going to get rid of this here, so maybe we can make this a little bit smaller like that. So just delete this too. It looks already a little bit better. Um, I think it can be improved though. It can definitely be improved. All right guys, so this is the best thing I think I could create with this design. It really didn't turn out that good as I thought, but I am gonna try the other one. As you can see, most of the time, only one of them really comes out that good. But uh, for this one, I really don't like it. Maybe some of you do like it, but I really don't like the look of this design. I have tried many things, but it just doesn't seem to work. So I will give the other design a shot. Maybe it will look a little bit better than this one. All right, so for this one, it's mainly using triangles. I think it will come out a little bit better than the other one. At least I hope it does because uh, the other one did come out quite bad. Some of them look much better on paper than they will actually turn out in Photoshop. And I do find that quite a lot. So it just may take you a while to find the the design that you really like to be honest so um, we're gonna keep going with this one while I am creating this logo I would like to say that I am going to be getting a blue snowball um, I will have one by the time this video comes uh, that goes by the time this video goes up I will have a blue snowball microphone so that will really help with my videos and uh, it will just make them obviously look a whole lot better so really can't wait until I get that and that should be not in my next video but my video after that I will be using my blue snowball microphone alright guys so this is what we have ended up with um, I saw like this logo I don't know it's quite cool uh, some of you may like it some of you may not but um, like like I said before end logos are quite hard I did choose quite a, one of the most difficult logos if you are picking a name uh, based on like say you want a easy logo to make and you haven't picked your name yet I would recommend picking something like uh, beginning with a or something like that because it will look a whole lot better um, a logos are quite easy to create I think uh, personally I think a logos are M logos are um, it's just completely up to you whether you find it easy or not obviously this is uh, there's two combinations of this logo sort of uh, we have the one with the lines coming at the bottom 
personally, I, I sort of like it. I, I don't know. It's completely up to you, obviously. But um, I reckon I think the one without the line is a little bit better. So uh, put it in the comments down below which one you think is nicer. But I obviously think the one on the right, like I said before, is the better option. If you do want this logo, I'm going to be giving it away. So the first person to comment down below. Uh, James is sexy. The first person to comment down below that will receive this logo and uh, I'll DM you this logo but please have your name starting with an N or have an N in your name. I don't know just have N related to your name because it's pretty pointless having an, like owning an N logo even though your name doesn't begin with an N or whatever so make sure you have an N at the start of your name. Comment down below like I said before James is sexy and I will give you guys this logo so I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial like I said before um, if you do have any troubles co comment them down below and uh, yeah I'll give I'll get back to you guys uh, but anyways hope you have enjoyed the video and this has been Visual or James and I'm out. Peace.